Hello everyone, thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. I'm going to be showing you how to create yellow joggers from the cargo pants that we have on the female character. I'm sure this method is very similar to what works for the male as well, so if you're having any questions about that or wanted to try it, let us know in the comments if it works. But what we're going to do here is put on those sand yellow colored cargo pants or any of the cargo pants in that section with these black harness boots and then save them under any slot. We are not merging these outfits, we are simply just changing around the components to create these joggers. Once you do have this outfit saved, go ahead and save all of your other outfits at the counter and make sure you're removing any helmets or any hats, any accessories that you're not sure that's going to transfer over to your male character. And then you're just simply just going to go to online, swap character, and then complete the director mode glitch to transfer your female outfits or female components over to your male character. If you're looking for a link to the latest version of that, check the description. I do have a playlist now that always shows the latest version, if there is one, if it's patched, if it's not. Just uploaded it not long ago. I don't know how long this one's going to last, but... Let's get into this. So once you've got these outfits transferred over to your male character, you shouldn't be able to actually click on this outfit, but as long as you see the name or the outfit slot transferred, then you know that you're good to go. So you're just going to go to online, go to play job, rockstar create a job, go to versus, start a job of crooked cop, and you do need at least one person to join this with you. So set this to player owned clothing, which is a very important step if you're wanting to actually pull and capture this outfit to make changes. Hit confirm settings, invite one friend, and then hit play. When you spawn into this job, you're going to have an outfit selection area, and I don't really know what the merge components are yet for this new version of the Director Mode Glitch, so nothing should merge. You shouldn't have any issues if you didn't already have or accidentally have those merge components. So you just need to simply scroll over to that saved outfit, which is going to allow us to capture that outfit and make changes in a mission. So I've got it saved as 10 sand, just as a heads up for myself, and you'll kind of see here that you do have weird invisible kind of legs once we select this outfit. So this is what we're going for. We know what this outfit is supposed to look like. Now when you do spawn into the Crooked Cop, you'll see that you do have on jeans and then the boots are kind of glitched through. You want to see these boots glitch through whatever pants happen to pop up here and that's how you know that these are definitely going to turn into joggers. So these will work for a lot of different styles of pants actually, but the cargo pants are the easiest to do. So open your interaction menu, go to style, go to accessories, add the rebreather, and then the invisible legs reappear. And then you just wanna quit the job through your phone. Once you quit the job through your phone, you're gonna spawn back into a GTA online session, and you should have on a different pair of pants, which is weird. Do not save this outfit, make no changes to this outfit. To make sure you capture the outfit and can actually add a shoe component, Go to Rockstar Created Jobs Mission, start up a titan of a job. You can play this job completely on your own. You do not need a friend to join this with you. And then when you hit confirm settings and play, you will spawn back in with those invisible legs. And then those boots that we know we're glitching through whatever invisible pants we have here. And this is where you will add the shoe component that you want to go with these yellow color joggers or any of the other cargo pants to make them joggers. If you're looking for shoe components, check my female component list, male to female, to see what different kind of shoes I have listed. Or if you know of a certain component that you wanted to put with any style of these, you can add those as well. So if you just scroll through boots, you can see that some of them are like half boots. And then I'm just gonna add these like two-tone skate shoes here onto one slot to test them. And then I'm also adding some all white canvas shoes to one slot to test them as well. Only one of these is what I was really looking for, but the other one was just a test to see if it worked. And then in addition to just adding whatever shoe component you want, which is going to create these joggers or make these cargo pants turn into joggers, you can also change the tops around. You can add any of like the tie or any of the suspender or any kind of accessories like that with this. And then also you can just add hat, mask, checkerboard items, whatever you're wanting to add to this outfit while you're in this mission. You can do this directly at ammunition because we are just kind of changing the shoes, that's the main focus. You really only need to add the shoes or purchase the shoes when you're in this mission. If you are wanting to change the tops and you need to buy those items or you need to do anything else like buy some accessories, 
you will need to do that in free mode before you spawn into this mission. You can also make changes to this outfit in your apartment or your CEO building when you're in a Titan of a job. So once you've got your outfits created here and you've selected the shoe component, the top component, whatever you're wanting to create here, make sure you just save these under whatever your empty slots you do have on the male character. And then we are going to swap back over to our female character and then the complete the director mode glitch one more time to get these components and these outfits that we created on the male back over to the female character. So as you can see here, even though my outfits were ugly with this little test here, these cargo pants did turn into joggers. And I wanted to do a comparison with this yellow chemical top, just so you can see that this is a bit off yellow. It is the sand color. So it's gonna be hard to match it with things that are yellow, but it does look good with the bigness mask. Anything white, black, gray, of course it's gonna look good with. And I'm sure you can make it work as well as with the other cargo pants now that you have access to if you do this glitch with them as well. So thanks so much for stopping by the channel again. Please drop a like, subscribe, leave me some comments. Let us know if you're testing stuff, if you're having luck with this glitch, and I will see you soon with more videos.